Computers as a tool to create. Should you use a Windows-based PC or a Mac? Let's go. Recently, I made a short film called Life is Art, and I would very much encourage you to go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Most people think art or an artist is someone who paints or writes music or tells stories. The reality is everything in life is art. And while every artist has a very specific set of tools to help them in the creation of their specific art, the one tool that is becoming more commonplace in every art form is the computer. Computers and technology have become an integral part of our lives and we turn to them frequently to help us along our journey. Like a typewriter, a paintbrush, or a musical instrument, a computer is just a tool. And as such, it's important to have the right tool. So you're probably asking yourself, well, that's great, Ben, but I'm not a technologist. So how in the world do I know which computer to get or what specifications I should get inside of that computer? And my answer to that question is simple. Two words. Puget Systems. I've been an Apple computer guy most of my professional life, and some of that has to do with the Apple ecosystem. There's a certain creative peace of mind that comes with not knowing the details of what's inside the computer that I'm working on. I'm not really a specs kind of guy, so I don't really care about those details. I just want to turn the computer on and work. So when it became evident a few years ago that Apple wasn't going to be giving me the tools that I needed to create all of the things that I wanted to create, I reluctantly started to think about getting a Windows based PC. But even just thinking about it gave me a certain level of anxiety that's counterproductive to the creative process. So I usually just suppressed those thoughts and lived with what I had. Enter Puget Systems. Puget Systems showed up on my radar at the end of about 2018 as I was coming to the end of a staff job and I was gonna start actively freelancing again. And I knew that my 2017 iMac was just not going to handle all of the things that I needed to do, especially if I needed to do any work in Octane or Redshift. So I was trying to decide if I should build my own custom PC or just buy a pre-built workstation. As I mentioned before, I'm not really a specs kind of guy. And if I'm spending all of my time trying to find the right parts and drivers and software to do all of the things that I needed that machine to do, then I'm not creating. And to a certain extent, I'm wasting time that I can't get back. And time is money. Puget Systems is by no means the only company out there that's making custom built workstations. And just like any of those other companies, you can go onto Puget's website and configure your own machine. They even have templates that are specific to the task that you want. So if you want a machine specific to doing 3D, that's great, they have that. If you want a machine that's specific to editing, that's great. They have a few of those that are specific to the software that you wanna use. But again, for someone like me, I'm not really all that interested in how to make the donuts. I just wanna eat the donuts. Mmm, donut. Mmm, donut. So what's so good about Puget Systems? Well, for one thing, their computers are pure magic, and I'm not overstating that by any stretch. If Hogwarts had a computer lab, they would go to Puget Systems for all of their computing needs. You're a wizard, Harry. But one of the things that I found with Puget Systems that I think separates them from all of the other companies that make workstations is their customer service. Puget Systems actually encourages you to call them on the phone. I'm serious. And when you do, you are not met with an endless list of menus to dial through just to get a sales rep. I got a sales rep on the phone immediately. His name was Wilson. Wilson! Wilson! Not that Wilson, this Wilson. As a side note, something I didn't know until a couple of weeks ago when Puget Systems released their celebratory 20 year anniversary video is that Wilson was one of the first two employees that John Bach hired back in 2001. Probably a little piece of Puget Systems history that you don't really need to know. So coming back to my experience, I've only ever owned seven computers in my life. Starting in 1993, when I graduated from high school, my grandmother bought me my first computer. It was a gateway computer and it arrived in a box with gateways signature black and white cow pattern on it. But I didn't see a cow pattern box with a logo on it. I saw a world of endless creative possibilities and I wrote a lot of music on that computer and it's probably responsible for my music technology addiction. I got a lot of traction out of that computer and after almost 10 years of usage, it was time to get a new machine. 
At the time, I was working at Sony Pictures, so I was able to get a really good deal on a Sony Vio, and combined with the Windows operating system, it was a horrible piece of sh** that chased me into the arms of Apple computers and I never looked back. I remember to this day the sheer excitement that I had standing there in the Apple store as I waited for the Apple genius to ring up my order. It reminded me of when I was a kid in that Christmas morning that I opened up that big old box underneath the Christmas tree to discover the Millennium Falcon standing in front of me. I could not wait to play with this thing. Needless to say, I was immediately an Apple fanboy. I know, you're asking yourself, why is any of this relevant? And the answer is this. If like me, you were chased into a long lasting relationship with Apple computers because of a bad Windows PC computing experience, and you've been a steadfast user of the Mac, but find yourself in need of more computing power and you don't wanna to have to sell a kidney on the black market to finance a new iMac Pro or Mac Pro, only to discover that it still doesn't have everything that you need to do all of the things that you want to do, like Octane and Redshift, you don't have to be afraid of getting back into an abusive relationship because Puget Systems actually takes the abusiveness out of that computing experience. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of negative comments for that statement right there from all the Windows fanboys that are out there. And I welcome a spirited debate and discussion of ideas, but let's keep that debate clean and free from any hate or personal attacks. Because the reality of the situation is this video is not made for you longtime Windows PC users. This video is specifically made and aimed at Mac users. And in full disclosure, if you've seen any of the videos on my channel, specifically the music production related videos that are on this channel, you will see that I still use a Mac and all of that has to do with plugins and software and hardware that I use in the creation of that music. My Puget Systems workstation is very specifically built for me to be able to do all of the audio editing and motion graphics and 3D animation and visual effects that I need to do. And I don't wanna bog that down or hinder it with any of the VST instruments or audio plugins or sample libraries that I have in the production of music. So I very specifically keep those two ecosystems separate. You don't have to be afraid because Puget Systems has got your back. They're not trying to sell you just any old computer with a bunch of specs that you don't need. They wanna sell you the right computer. But more importantly, they value and care about you not just as a customer, but as a creative. And it's extremely important to have that kind of support on your side no matter where you are in your creative journey. I am not being paid to tell you any of this. I'm literally just recounting my personal experience with Puget Systems. In fact, there's a link in the description below and it's not an affiliate link. I'm not getting paid if you click on that. But if you do want to support this channel, there are other affiliate links that you can click on and I would very much appreciate your support in that regard. And if you do decide to get a Puget Systems, <laughs> tell them I sent you. So I'm gonna end with this. Puget Systems makes workstations that are specifically tailored for your specific creative need. And there is no greater tool that you can have in your toolbox than having a machine that is specific to what you need to do. So I'm not gonna tell you which processor to get. Should you get Intel or should you get an AMD Threadripper? Should you get an Nvidia graphics card or an AMD card? How much RAM should you get? All I care about and all you should care about is does this tool help you in your creative journey? And in the long run, does it save you time? When that inspirational spark hits you and you rush to your computer to bang out that creative idea, does your computer just work? You want your computer to support you, not work against you. And I'm gonna stop right there for fear of beating a dead horse. <laughs> If you got value out of this video, I would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I try to answer and reply to all of them. Also, feel free to reach out to me on social media. Get in touch with me. I would love to know and see what you guys are creating. Thanks again. Bye for now.